Easy guys, don't be here from Cringy Dad Gaming. So in this video we're going to take a look at some of the graphics settings in Gears 5. So I'm running a half decent gaming PC with the CPU being the Intel i7-8700 and the GPU being the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 with a VRAM of 8GB and a total system memory of 32GB. Now I can run this game relatively smoothly on the ultra settings. For some of you guys out there that may have slightly lower spec machines, I will put the minimum specs required for the game and outlined by the developer in the description. So we're going to start the video off looking at the low settings and we're then going to move through to medium, high and ultra. I'm going to list the average frames per second that I'm getting but this will be different if you're running different resolutions. I'm playing the game at a native resolution of 2560 by 1440 because I have a 2k monitor. The Nvidia GeForce RTX 2070 handles that pretty well so you know i'm happy with that but for some of you guys you may have uh, lower resolution monitors so you may find that you actually get a little bit of extra juice out of the game based on that so these settings and kind of like you know the frame rates are based on my system if you've got a similar system then great that'll give you guys uh, looking for an idea of what the game looks and plays like if you haven't got it yet and that's mainly the reason for this video it's just for people that haven't yet got the game they want to kind of see what the graphics look like how they run on the different settings before they maybe spend their money on it that will hopefully give you guys uh, a heads up I personally think the game runs really smoothly. I've not really noticed much difference, believe it or not, in the way the game kind of runs from the low settings to the ultra settings in terms of the frame rate. Although there is a difference in the frame rate, obviously, from kind of low settings to ultra, because the game runs so smooth, I personally don't really notice it that much. There's only a small difference in the frame rate because the frame rate is still over 60 frames per second, even at ultra settings, and the game doesn't suffer at all. Uh, the Coalition have done a really good job on this. It, it runs really good. The cutscenes in the game are beautiful. They look really, really, really nice. Um, graphically as well, the graphics in the game in some of the different environments look really great. So what I've done in this video is I've kind of give you an idea of what it kind of looks like inside so you a lot of the game you will be in dark environments gives you an idea of kind of how the lighting works how the reflections from the muzzle flashes and the explosions work particle effects from you know different bits of dust flying around and from debris from explosions it really will kind of give you a good idea but then later on just very briefly at the end i give you a quick look at one of the snowier environments to give you an idea of kind of what that really white kind of snow looks like what the colors look like the ice and the lens flares and the god rays and all this stuff that kind of comes through with the little bits of snow and ice particles floating around so hopefully you guys will enjoy the video if you've got any questions don't forget to pop them in the comments and i'm just going to leave you to enjoy the rest of the video and thanks for watching Just 
Let's see what's in that train car. Oh, shit! Down! We're not alone! Carrier! You have a lot of room to move in here! Jack, shock trap! see shit in here. Jack, light the way. Military trains. Hmm. The only operation around here would have been Hollow Storm when they attacked the locusts on the ground. And these train cars might have useful stuff in them. in that train car. Shit! Yeah, we're not alone! Carrier! You have a lot of room to move in here! Jack, shock track! Jack, light the way. Military trains. Hmm. The only operation around here would have been Hollow Storm, when they attacked the locusts on the ground. And these train cars might have useful stuff in them. what's in that train car. Shit! Down! We're not alone! Carrier! We don't have a lot of room to move in here!
Marcus, there's no facility here. It's all old growth forest. Trust me, it's there. So does Jen know about this place? Every first minister's known, and they all did the same thing. Posted guards and tried to keep it a secret. Secrets, huh? There's a lot of that going around these days. Let me know when you're getting close. Control out. Marcus, there's no facility here. It's all old growth forest. Trust me, it's there. So does Jen know about this place? Every first minister's known, and they all did the same thing. Posted guards and tried to keep it a secret. Secrets, huh? There's a lot of that going around these days. Let me know when you're getting close. Control out. Marcus, there's no facility here. It's all old growth forest. Trust me, it's there. So does Jen know about this place? Every first minister's known, and they all did the same thing. Posted guards and tried to keep it a secret. Secrets, huh? There's a lot of that going around these days. Let me know when you're getting close. Control out. Marcus, there's no facility here. It's all old growth forest. Trust me, it's there. So does Jen know about this place? Every first minister's known, and they all did the same thing. Posted guards and tried to keep it a secret. Secrets, huh? There's a lot of that going around these days. Let me know when you're getting close. Control out. Yo, ready for this? Yo, who's the daddy?